Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah In the name of Allah and peace and blessing of Allah be upon the Prophet Muhammad There is no God but Allah and Muhammad peace be upon him is his slave and messenger And Jesus peace be upon him is his slave and messenger All praises be to Allah Without Allah I wouldn't make this tutorial He is the one who gave me the mind and gave me the knowledge to share it with others And if you want to thank someone you have to thank Allah for what he gave us in these tutorials, you will learn how to make an interior from start to finish. Every single model in this photo, you will learn how to make them, inshallah. All my tutorials are free. If you want to make a donation, I will appreciate it. I did a lot of mistakes in these tutorials. I usually don't make that much of mistakes, but when I record a video, I become so nervous and I forget a lot of information. I apologize for this. In the first video, I will give you some tips about 3ds Max and basic navigation tools to make things much easier. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to tell me, send me a message. And if you have a job for me, please send me a message because I don't have a job. I just make free tutorials. And I hope you find this tutorial helpful and I hope you learn something from it. If you find these tutorials are helpful, subscribe and share it with your friends. I will be glad if you join my group on Facebook and like my page to see recent news about new tutorials. With the name of Allah we begin. Orbiting and panning in 3ds Max is much easier by using a mouse button with a thir third button in the middle. We call it a middle mouse button and it's easier than using the tools here. And now let's uh, talk about the pan. You can pan by pressing the middle mouse button and by holding down the alt button with it you can orbit around and with the two buttons add a third button by uh, pressing ctrl you can zoom in and out and this is much easier and faster by using the tools here now i can orbit and pan and zoom in and out you can use the mo uh, mouse while wheel move it up and down you can zoom in you can use this and by pressing Ctrl Alt and middle mouse button you can zoom very nice and smooth. And now let's talk about the basic tools here and uh, select objects. If you have many objects and you want to select them, you can select while you are in the move tool you are selecting and but sometimes we, we move them accidentally and I don't like this so we will use the select objects and this is much easier to select just objects without moving them you can access this by pressing Q on your keyboard and W for move and E for rotating R for scaling and for each one of these you can right click on them and you can move move them by numbers on any axis you want and you can press S on your keyboard to turn on the snapping tool and A for angle snap right click on the snapping and choose the vertex face edge segment anything you like so we want to to snap press s and now you can see we have a cross here move it anywhere you want in the axis you want let's say y and move this here and the z move this up where you can see we snapped it here and this is very nice and good and this is the graphic tool we will use this for making pillow and mattress and right click here and axis contrast you can use this by select the axis you want you can see it's changing to yellow for z x y z and move if you want to move in X axis, select this and by clicking anywhere on the object, you can move it in the X axis and the Y. And this is useful when you are using a snapping. If I want to snap in Z axis, I just press here and axis and move them now in the Y axis. And this is nice. And if I want in X axis, I will choose this and move it now and this is very nice and now yeah you can move this here and if you want to save some selection 
just select them and take the na take the name the name here box and for this one call it one box and let's see how it's work if I want to select these two I will just go down here to the drop down and select this one box and this one one box and this is very nice and in the tutorial in this tutorial I mean in the next tutorials I will talk about how to use the layers and this is much it's very useful when you have a lot of objects and you want to organize them and you can go to the material editor by pressing M on your on your keyboard you can press F9 to render and F10 to go to the render setup and yeah I think this is the basics and go to the customized unit setup to change your unit setup to centimeters and this one to centimeters so you can get a better result and accurate when we model and yeah the next tutorial will make the first object and the first furniture thanks for watching